So this is the Zoop W portable fold-out solar panels, and it is very likely that these are the best such option on the market right now. And later on in the video, I'm going to show you guys a slight modification you can do to make these even better. Now Zoop W actually has a few fold-out panels. The most well-known is probably the 450 watt quad panel design. And this thing is an absolute beast, a ton of power, essentially half a kilowatt, but calling it portable is a little bit of a stretch. And for a lot of people, it could be a little bit too cumbersome to really use as often as they would like. And that's where this model comes in because it has all the same tech features ability as the larger unit but it is a much more portable, manageable dual panel design. So it's super convenient, about half the price of the larger model, and it's rated for a still respectable 180 watts of power. So this right here is the Zoop W portable fold out 180 watt solar panel array. These are essentially the newer generation of these older kind of flexible fabric style solar panels. In comparison to those, uh, these have a much enhanced design featuring this aluminum frame around the outside, which one, looks better, and two, adds much needed rigidity to the construction here. And this is really what enables this super convenient portable design. On the back side here, we have integrated kickstands. The connectors are standard MC4 with a provided adapter cable. And when it comes to the solar cell technology, they're using the latest N-type solar cells, which are the most efficient, and it's paired with a 16 bus bar wiring configuration, which should optimize the performance in partial and more challenging lighting conditions. Now for my testing, I began in the morning, so not ideal solar conditions. And on top of that, we had pretty intense partial shading. But even here, the panels managed to pull about 20 to 30 watts. And that right there is a huge testament to the advancements in solar cell technology. Just a couple of years ago, a solar panel in these conditions would have been pulling absolutely zero power. But then I went ahead and repositioned the panels so that one had full sun and the other was mostly covered by shade. And we jumped all the way to 100 watts. I did proceed to prop up the panel to get a more optimal angle, and then I saw the wattage jump to 130 watts. Now these are peak solar conditions. It's midday, it is late September, so given that fact, we are pulling just under 160 watts. In all fairness, before recording, this did peak at like 162 watts. Now when it comes to the cost, these panels are right around $1 per watt and often you can find deals and discounts that make it even cheaper than that. And I think the combination of that price, the portable enhanced design here, and the inclusion of the latest high performance and type solar cells, in my mind, really make this one of the better options in the market right now. Now I did mention, I think there is one potential shortcoming of these solar panels and that's the necessity to plug these into a power station. Power stations like my EcoFlow Delta 3 have built-in charge controllers, which can turn this into usable energy that you can tap into from the front. And of course, with the battery, it can store the energy. But due to the portable nature here, it would be nice to just unfold panels and directly tap into the energy to say charge a mobile device. And that's where this device comes into play. I found this on Amazon, I'll leave it linked below but it takes the, the solar directly from the panels and converts it into usable USB power. And this can accept both Anderson and a, a barrel port, both of which come stock on the connector here. So we can simply disconnect the XT60 and then plug this charge controller directly in. We have a little LED light. And then theoretically we take uh, a USB device like my Osmo 360 and directly plug it in. And now we can see that the Osmo 360 is indeed charging directly from these solar panels. And this thing is small enough that if you want, you can just Velcro it to the back of the solar panels. And it gives you a way to immediately access the energy coming off of these panels. So I'll go ahead and leave these panels, that portable solar charge controller, and even my EcoFlow Delta 3 linked below the video if you guys want to check out these products. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.